Hello everyone and welcome to week 13 of our Pacific Music Works online season. This week we are presenting part two of our stage production of Clarissa Mia Oratorios at St. James Cathedral from January 13, 2012. In part one, you saw the two heartrending stories of fathers who had to sacrifice their children. First, Abraham and his son Isaac, and then Yefta returning home after battle and promising God to sacrifice the first thing he sees, which turns out to be his young daughter. The lamentations of the daughter and the general lamentation of the community in the final chorus were Carissimi's most famous and enduring achievements. This chorus was known all over Europe because of its inclusion in a popular encyclopedia of music in 1650. But the young French composer, Marc-Antoine Charpentier, who had come to Rome to study with Carissimi, had the unique experience of hearing it under Carissimi's direction in Rome. Charpentier copied out the entire score of Yefta by hand, and it had a great influence on his own oratorio here, which he called Le Reniment de Saint-Pierre, which recounts the New Testament story of St. Peter's three-time denial of Jesus. Our second half begins here with the story of Job. In Carissimi's telling, the long biblical story of the sufferings of Job is concentrated into a series of dramatic confrontations between the devil, Job, and an angel. We see the devil agitating Job to succumb to the afflictions that God has sent, but ultimately, Job follows the path of acceptance. In our staging, we see tenor Aaron Sheehan in the role of Job, with Tyler Duncan as Diabolus and Catherine Webster as Angelus. Despite the difference of musical language between Kersimi and Charpentier, you may recognize the various ways in which Charpentier, in his portrayal of the St. Peter story, borrowed important ideas and techniques from Carissimi's Yefta. First and foremost is the analogy between the lamentations of Carissimi's Philia, bewailing her lost youth and virginity, with Peter's lamentation of his own betrayal of Christ. Musically, the most striking resemblance between the two is the final chorus of each piece. Charpentier's chorus partakes of the same heartrending atmosphere as Carissimi's and intensifies it even further with his uniquely advanced harmonic language of intense dissonances. Tenor Ross Hauck is Jesus, tenor Aaron Sheehan is Petrus, baritone Charles Robert Stevens is the narrator, Historicus, Catherine Webster, Shannon Mercer, and Thomas Thompson take the smaller roles, and all except Jesus form the chorus. We hope you enjoy part two of Kersamy's Oratorios, and please look below to join our Pacific Music Works YouTube channel.